Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, getting your day started. Here's a couple of verses that um, came up. I thought I would go ahead and record rather than write because writing seems to um, slow down a bit. It gets you kind of like comfortable. I'm up and I've exercised and so I'm recording now. So Matthew 10 and 39, um, we just thank God for the power of the word and the transforming power it brings to our life. So it says, whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. And so in um, the Christian walk, this is, this I would say can be a hard pill to swallow because oftentimes people do become saved, but they don't count up the cost of what they will have to release. And so here is where uh, Jesus is telling us that we have to release something in order to get something. But I think when you get to a place where you surrender, and it's going to be different for everyone, um, what you will find is, is you've been through so much in the life that you're losing, that it is well, and you can begin to see by faith the life that you're going to acquire because you're walking that path with Christ. And that's what makes it easier. I can say from my own experience that after you go through so many trials and tribulations, you know that you have no power over your life anyway. So now you program yourself to go with the flow, which brings us to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind in Romans 12. One through three, you could read that. Um, let me make sure, because sometimes I'll get confused. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind means that you find the antidote to transform your mind. And initially, the antidote is going to be prayer. The antidote for prayer is always going to lead us into higher ground concerning our spirituality because we'll most likely start off on a religious basis of speaking be transformed by the renewing of your mind and as those words take root the seeds begin to produce um the uh truth behind the words which is what is called the mystery so here we find that be transformed by the renewing of your mind means that for those that get up with mood swings in the morning, depression, prayer is going to be the answer for you and exercise possibly. Um, the more you push into prayer, the more you'll see that your peace is coming because you're getting your flesh out of the way. Um, something to think about when you're pushing through is, am I thinking stubbornly? You know, am I feeling in a, um, a stubborn way? Do I feel resistant to something? Um, do I feel like there's limitations around me? And when you get your answer, you might want to let yourself know that you're not in control. So self, be at peace. Because your flesh and spirit have to line up with one another. That means there's a union that has to take place. And many people are going through extreme feelings of depression and anger, frustration um, at this time because they can't get what they want. But it's not that you can't get what you want. You have what you need right now because the Lord is your shepherd. Therefore, you have no wants. The transformation of the mind means that I adapt to my situation until my day comes to overcome and you won't be lost if you trust god right so um this is the manner of thinking in order to overcome yourself because if not then what happens is yourself will begin to react and respond to your feelings and any kind of changes that could be you could forfeit them simply because you didn't respond properly and so yes romans 12 and 2 be ye not conformed. Okay, let me go back. Romans 12 and 2 says, 
be not conformed to the patterns of this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And so what is God's will for you? Ultimately, it's no different for any of us. The path is going to be different that we take, but the faith walk is no different. Um, some will have a more extensive faith walk than others, but we still practice, you know, faith. Faith. It's not something that you see. It's something that you do. It's an action. Um, and it's believing without seeing. So when we look at releasing old, why would you hold on to something from the past anyway that's not serving you? And that's what I have to tell myself, right? And then if you release it, then the word says that what you need is coming back to you. And that is the fulfillment of Christ. So you could have what you had that made you uncomfortable, unhappy, and sad, or you could release it and it takes time but it's like work on that because whoever finds their life will lose it. And you find your life by, you know, leveling up and saying, this is what I'm, I'm living. Is this what I'm happy with? No, I'm consulting with God to find out where I go from here. And if there's something in it that needs to be released in, I release it so that I can find the newness of Christ, the fulfillment of Christ for my life. And that there is a transformation of the mind because people have done things um, the same way. Patterns are set through family, society, and so on. Traditions have been set and traditions are made to be broken because some traditions don't work for a person that could have come into this life to be a way changer, such as Jesus, you know? And um, because he recognized something superior in him, he took that role. He let go of the life that his parents gave him, and he took on the life of uh, the Christ within him. And so this is a mindset to let go of depression, anger, or even feeling that you don't have enough. It's a mindset to release lack and move into the abundance. So there's a transformation when you release it because the transformation is that I change my mind and my thoughts about what's going on in my life. If nothing is going on good in the life that I've been living, then I begin to work towards a new life. And that means that I'm seeing my life as I would like it to be and not as it has been. That's transformation. I begin to be a part of the transformation um, process in my life. And if your life is tore down, you're not going to get it back anyway. So why not rebuild today and start with your mind? Now, some of the things that help in this time with the mindset is sound bath, music, um, meditations, um, meditations with music that has no words, uh, soft music. Um, and then sometimes you want to get out some music that's going to help you to get happy. Dancing. Uh, you always want to get up and exercise, especially in this time, because some people don't have um, the symptoms of depression, but they're having depression because of the weighty matters. All right. So you guys be blessed and have a wonderful day. I might try this uh, a little bit more because um, it might be easier than writing. All right. So you guys be blessed. and. Um, the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and we're prospering, and we're building in ways like never before. Amen.